everybody, it's Wendy, and I am back with some monochromatic beads from the Bargain Bead Box, March 2022. Now, these beads are not from the March box, and neither are the silver accents, okay? But all of these beads are. So, I really wanted to do a memory wire bracelet. I've been big into the memory wire bracelets lately, and I think this will be really pretty with this kind of monochromatic... Uh, tone. Now these did come from Beadbox Bargains. All of these came from their sister store, Beadbox Bargains, and these are just some sparkly rhinestone rondelles. I just didn't really want to go with the copper um, theme that came in the box this month. I like it, but I wanted to go silver with this. So I don't know that we'll use all these beads, but we may. So I'm just going to separate them out here a little bit, and we're going to make a memory wire bracelet. And I've got a pretty big one that we're gonna do. So I've got, let me see how many loops I've cut, actually, I think I have five. One, two, three, four, yeah, five loops of memory wire. This is just regular bracelet size memory wire, nothing special. And I do have um, some ball head pins here because I like to do a dangle usually on the loop part of the memory wire. I've got some bead caps. These are the free ones they sent with my last bead box bargains order. And I've just got some little spacers in some bright silver colors here. Um, like I said, not sure that I'll use all of this stuff, but I just went ahead and pulled some of it out. And then these are the Ripple beads, and I do love these beads. Um, these are from their sister store as well, and they are so, so cool as spacers. They give texture. They're just really cool. So I'm probably going to use those. Okay, now these are... Let me grab my paper. It's been a while since I looked, and I can't remember what everything was. Okay... Um, these are the rondelle beads in sky blue. These are the faceted oval beads in green blue iris. That's these right here. Um, these are the bicones, obviously. These are ice quartz, ice blue quartz round beads. Okay, these are just glass metallic blue green iris. And like I said, the bicones. Okay, so everything in this did come from either Beadbox Bargains or Bargain Beadbox, um, except for the rondelles. And these are just regular old rondelles, or rhinestone rondelles. Okay, so get together what beads you would like to do, and we will make a, a memory wire bracelet. Now, I like to use my crimpers, my crimping pliers, for making this little... Um, and I knew that was going to break. It was cracked. But for making this little loop on the end, because they're micro and they get right around there. And then you can take this little divot and close it right up. Um, and memory wire can be a little tough to work with. So that always works out really good. I like to do this. So I use my uh, crimpers for that. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and start and with memory wire bracelets, I like to start with the small bead first usually. So I'm going to go ahead probably with one of these spacers. And I also have these sparkly blue rondelles from the box, but I wasn't sure if they really went with this or not. They kind of do, but then they kind of don't. So I'm not sure I'm going to use them. I'll probably go with these first, okay? These really beautiful, let me cut the end off here. There's something on my scissors, some kind of plastic. It's hard to tell what it is. Oh, come on. It's easier to use your cutter sometimes when you're cutting these little uh, plastic strands. <laughs> sometimes you can get in there with your flush cutter and it's a little easier than trying to cut them with scissors. So that's what I do a lot of times. There we go. I'll get that little bead off of there. Okay. And take these off. These are so pretty and so sparkly. I just thought of really like a monochromatic um, bracelet would be really pretty with these. And I've been really into the memory wire lately. I'm just really liking it. It's beautiful. All right. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take these and every two of these rondelle beads, I'm going to put a little spacer. So I'm going to alternate two and a spacer. Now with memory wire, I always like to decide, do I want to do a full round or a half round? And by a round, what I mean is one round loop of this. So you'll see here in just a second when I get this 
enough of these on, I'll show you what I mean. I think I'm going to do full rounds in this one. Okay, so I'm just continuing to do two rondelles and a spacer. These are so pretty. Okay, now that looks like about a half round. So let's go, let's, uh-oh, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's go all the way down here with our beads. Let's try not to get too tangled up. Come on now. There we go. It's always a little tricky till you get the first couple of rows on and then it evens itself out, it seems like. But... Okay. Now, when you get down to the bottom here, you'll be able to see that one round of this memory wire so from here where we started all the way around to here again is what I would consider a full round. What we've got on here right now is a half round. And that, this is my own system, guys. Nobody, <laughs> this isn't like scientific. I mean, nobody taught me this. This is just how I do it, okay? Full round or half round. So I'm going to make this a full round bracelet. You can do both. Like I could do a full round on the bottom here then do a half round of something and a half round of something else if I wanted, but... We'll see how it goes. So right now, I'm just going to keep on, because I really like this combo, I think it's pretty. So we're just going to keep right on doing it. All right, and let's see what we get. So did I start with a spacer? I did. If I started with a spacer, I like to end with a spacer. Let's move them on down. Move them on down. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're almost back around, so I need a couple more of these, and a spacer, probably two more and a spacer, and we'll have our full bottom round, and a spacer. All right, let's put them down here. I just really have been liking memory wire bracelets lately because they look like you have on multiple bracelets and they're so easy to make and they turn out so pretty. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. That's a full round, okay? So if you can see, it starts here and ends here pretty much. There's a full round on the bottom. Okay, so now that I've got these on, I want to go with something a little bit darker. So let's look at these barrel beads and I think these would be really cool on the ends of them if they will sit right let's look and see so let's put one of these guys on actually you can take a um an eye pen and test this out and just see how they will sit nestled in against each other and these aren't going to work out so well just because of the way the ends are on them so let's not do that. Let's do these and these. Those will work out. That I am sure of. So let's go ahead and do a Rodell. Well, you know what? I might want to save those for the middle because those are so pretty. Uh, and I definitely want to do something darker next. So let's go ahead and do the barrel beads with the bead caps. That'll work out really well. So let's do a bead cap and the barrel beads. Yeah, they'll fit really well in there. And another bead cap. Let's bring them on down. And I might do something. I might do this bicone in between. I think that would be kind of cool. So let's cut this strand here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the bicone in between. Just to bring in some of the lighter blue. Then the bead cap, the barrel bead, and the bead cap, and a bicone. And I'm going to do a full round of that. So bead cap, barrel bead, bead cap, bicone. Let's do another one. Bead cap, barrel bead, bead cap and bicone. 
And then I'm going to look and see. I may just do a half round of these because these are pretty heavy. Let's see. Bring them all the way down. Push everything together. Uh, that's a little less than a half round. Let's go one more. Bead cap, barrel bead, bead cap. And what did I start with? I just started with a bead cap. I didn't end with a bicone, so... So that's a half round of those. I think we might leave it at that because these are super heavy. And then, but I still need to stay with a darker bead because of um, because of these lighter beads. I don't really want to go light on top of light. Okay, my camera stopped recording. Let's see if we can finish this video. I've filmed a lot today, so it's like full up. Okay. Um, this bead cap, I'm just doing them back to back like this. It gives some texture and just a little interest. Okay, so we'll put this one on facing the bead. This one facing the next bead. And I'm just going to do maybe a full round. Well, I don't know if I have enough bead caps. I'll probably have to do a half around of this. I'm running out. Yeah. don't have any more of these bead caps. I don't even know if I'll get a I don't even get a half a round out of that. Let's see. Yeah, I really would like to get all the way around with that. Um, hmm. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I don't have any more of those bead caps, but I have some similar bead caps. So we'll just switch over to those. We can do whatever we want, right? It's our bracelet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna switch over to that one. It won't that it won't be that noticeable, but we'll do a half a round of each. Or a half, a quarter round of each, I guess you should say, because we're going halfway around, I think, with this one. I don't know, maybe go all the way around. It's pretty. My battery's running out. Actually, if I don't go back around, yeah, because I don't want to put dark on top of dark. So I am go I'm going to go all the way with this one. I'm going to do a full round. That bead cap's got glue on it or something that's sticking. Okay. Back to back bead caps. Well, those two beads are stuck together. Yeah, this looks really pretty. I love this this color scheme and just oh, these beads are so pretty. These quartz beads are beautiful. Okay. I'm just continuing to go all the way around with the back-to-back -back bead caps and the quartz beads till I get back around here to here. And that'll be my full round of these. Okay, let's go here. Come just about back around there. One more. Okay, and one more bead cap. And we'll put this guy on and let's see where it's at. Okay, looks really pretty. This is beautiful. Now, we want to make sure that we have everything shoved down tightly. Okay, and what are we going to do for our next round? So I need to use, oh, I used the barrel beads. I need to use these guys somehow. These are really pretty too. Um, I could do them with some rhinestone rondelles, or I could do them with these little guys in between. I think these little guys would be pretty in there. Let's try that. Let's see. So this one, layer, or with this one. Let's see how that, yeah, that's pretty. Let's do a, might just do a half a round of these because they're pretty heavy. We'll see. I don't have a whole lot of them either. 
I used a bunch of them already. This bargain bead box is so beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's get on around here. Yeah, I'll probably just use up what I have of those and that'll be it. Maybe, we'll see here. Just alternating them with these little blue rondelle spacers. Um, there is a half and I just have one left. So probably just going to go ahead and throw this one on because you know, I can't do anything with one except for throwing in bead soup. Okay, so there's that. Now I have these bicones and some more. Of, I'd really like to use the rest of these rondelles. I think they're so pretty. I wonder if I could layer them with the ripple beads or I mean alternate them with the ripple beads. Let's look at this. Let's do a ripple. Well, first of all, let's do one of these lanterns. I like these lantern beads. These are really cool. Okay. Now, let's do a ripple and a rondelle. And the only thing with this is it's going to put all these ripples on the same side, and I don't really want to do that. That's not going to look good. So, what do I want to do here? I have a bunch of these spacer beads. These um these are the the um spacer beads I was just talking about, the flat ripple ones from my website. I could use a bunch of these. I've just dumped out my little pile of metallic or my little thing that has all my little metallic stuff in it, just little odds and ends and bits. I could use those on here. That would probably be really pretty. So let's let's try that. Okay, let's do this and one of these. Yeah, these are pretty too. I like them. Mm, that's going to be too much metal, I'm thinking. Too much, too much, too much. Okay, so let's just do these and the, let's alternate these and the bicones. That'll work just fine. I'm just going to alternate the light blue rondelle and the bicone we get to the end. I could put in the lantern bead like every like I could stick a lantern bead right here. Uh, let's do let's do something different here. I know what we're gonna do because it does need a little bit of metal so let's do the lantern bead, the rondelle, the bicone, then the lantern bead. Actually, let's do the lantern bead. <laughs> this is what you do when you're designing on the fly. A bicone, a rondelle, a bicone, and a lantern bead. That's going to be the key right there. It gives a little pattern in the middle that looks good. Yep, there we have it. Okay, so lantern bead, bicone, rondelle, bicone, Lantern bead. That's going to look really good. That'll finish this off nicely. Okay, push them down. So we've got your bicone. Whoops. I hope I have enough of the rondelles to finish this. I think I do. Rondelle. Okay, so I had to go get my plug and plug my phone in. It kept telling me, low battery. Some features may be limited. And then it would quit and I would hit the record button again. It would record for a couple seconds and it's like low battery. Some features may be limited. <laughs> so it would quit and I hit the record button again and then finally it was like no I'm not doing it. It yelled at me with an exclamation point. It said battery too low. Cannot start capture. <laughs> okay I will go get the battery. Go get the plug. So there we have it. All right so we're now plugged in and doing well hopefully. All right. I'm getting around this little round here with these. This bracelet, I love the colors in this. It's so pretty. All right, got some bicones here in the middle. Let me get them out. Okay, lantern. Got it. 
Uh, oh no. Ica. Lantern bead. I may have enough to do one more set. Bicone rondelle bicone. And that's probably gonna be all. Bicone. Rondelle. And bicone. And we're gonna be down to our end loop here. And that bicone does not have a hole in one end. That's weird. Okay. Alright, so here we are. Now we're gonna take our crimping pliers because they have the teeny tiny little end and I'm going to make sure all of my beads are pushed down see when I shoved it down it actually had a little bit more room I may throw that last lantern bead on there <laughs> you want memory wire bracelets to be tight you don't want them to be loose at all okay make sure everything's pushed down yep okay now I'm going to flip my little loop here Make sure it's closed up really good. If it's not, your bead will definitely go inside the loop. And this bead is kind of big. It may... No, it's not going to. Okay, so here we go. Now, I always like to do some little dangles. I just think it's super cute to have a dangle. And that's one reason when I cut this... Now look, there is room in there. How did I end up with room in there? Well, somebody gave me a good idea one time and said just to take a um, crimp bead cover. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up with room in there, but we're going to do it. Let me grab a couple crimp covers and I'll show you. Actually, I could unroll this. I could probably unroll this, but I still can't fit on another. Let me grab a couple of those crimp bead covers and we'll, we'll test that out. Hold on. Where are my crimp bead covers? Okay, so I had somebody tell me one time, you could just put a crimp bead cover if your wire, so let's try it. <laughs> I have some in here, some silver ones. Let's do a couple silver ones. These are big ones, but that's okay. Now, um, I'm going to put one on one end and one on the other. So let's see if it works. It's supposed to just float on the wire. I guess you would take it and just close it up. I never do a very good job of with these. Okay, there's one on that end. Let's go to the other end. So if you ever like end up with extra wire accidentally, like I just did, and I don't know how I did because I thought I had it pushed all the way down, but apparently I didn't. So this seems to work. <laughs> just put a little current bead cover on there. And I don't guess it'll come off the end close it up really good it's kind of these things you have to play around with them a little bit and get them they don't ever want to just close for me like they should but hey that does oh it fell off <laughs> okay that's not good let's put it back on will it go back on it should if it came off okay so what I will do is I will put him back on there I guess you can't use too big of one we live and learn, don't we? Okay, let's put him back on. Go back on there. He came off. I know you can go back on. Okay, and then let me get him all the way on there. And then what I will do is I will put my dangles on there. And that will block him from falling off again. <laughs> okay, so let me take, um, oh goodness, let me see. Where's my current, or my uh, jump ring? Ah, all right, let me grab a jump ring. Actually, here's a jump ring, a big one that I'm not going to use for this, but I'm just going to put it through here. Oh, great. It won't fit. Okay, so we quit recording again. This time the storage was full. <laughs> I'm telling you, this. I don't know if it's meant to be for this bracelet. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bead or a little uh, jump ring here. Let me grab my tools. And I'm going to just put it through this little spot. And that will keep that little um, bead from falling off. So let's close that up because we're going to make a couple dangles anyway. All right. And what I was saying before, I don't know if I finished it because everything went haywire, but um, I like to put dangles on the ends. And so I make sure that I don't cut 
Like, see how this one's cut over here and this one's cut way over here. So that way your dangles aren't right on top of each other, if that makes sense. That's just a personal thing with me. It probably doesn't matter to anybody else, but <laughs> that's the way I like to do it. All right, so I'm going to use one of these ripple beads. One of these beautiful sparkly rondelles and probably this guy. And I may put, do I have a smaller? Ooh, let's do this blue. Okay, whoops, no, not him, not him, this guy. All right, so let's do this blue one. The ripple bead, the rondelle, and this rondelle. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, we're going to make a wrap loop. Okay, so you just bend it 90 degrees. Take your round nose plier, go up and over and around. I'm going to go around like this. <laughs> it looks like a little UFO almost. <laughs> and then we're just going to wrap. And I am going to attach this with a jump ring so we didn't have to worry about putting our loop on before we wrapped. All right. I'm going to trim that up just because I don't want to mess or fight with it to get it to go all the way around. Make sure there's nothing sticking out. And this is going to go right on our little loop there. So just take a jump ring and put it right on. I just think it gives a cute little um, extra touch. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it. Close that up, okay, just like that. And see, there's a cute little dangle and it'll just kind of hang around when you've got your bracelet on. Now let's go to about this back to this end and I'll probably do something different on this end. Let's see, uh, maybe this guy and this one, probably just, just like this. Yep, that looks good. Then 90 degrees, go up, over, and around, and wrap again. Okay. There we go. Trim this up. snaggle and we're going to put it right here on this jump ring that is holding this crimp bead cover on <laughs> close it right up and we're good to go there's our second little dangle you could put more if you wanted i usually don't i usually just do two and here we have our beautiful memory wire bracelet looks like multiple layers. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. I love it. So, so pretty. I love this part right here. Absolutely stunning. You can wear it, you know, you can flip it around this way, however you want to do it. I love memory wire bracelets. They are so much fun. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in subscribing to Sam's Bead Box, or no, Bargain Bee Box. I'm getting my bee boxes confused. This is Bargain Bee Box. I will have all the information in the description box below this video. And yeah, it's a great deal. I have a coupon code for $2 off your first box or $2 off your first purchase in their sister store. Um, but if you subscribe, you get that 30% off coupon to use all the time in their sister store. And believe me, it is well worth it. It is so much fun. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.